Hello, Pinellas Urban Survivalist. Uh, this is Southern Patriot here. Today uh, I thought I'd do a video explaining how to put together a bug out bag or a uh, bob on a budget. Um, I've been unemployed unfortunately now for probably close to eight months. Um, so knowing that uh, with the things going on around us and the potential poss possibilities, especially being here in, uh, in Central Florida of hurricanes and, and the potential uh, possibility of a financial collapse happening at any time. One of the things that I'm most concerned about is, is my family and myself and uh, making sure that we're prepared for, for any, any event that might come around. So what I've done today is I've kind of spread out all the contents I have for my bug out bag for my vehicle. And being on a very tight budget, I put this bug out bag together probably over the course of about three weeks. Uh, I've made a couple of trips to the dollar store. I've uh, been kind of creative with some of the things that I've had uh, just to kind of, you know, uh, put together something that in the event of an emergency out on the road, I'd be able to survive for at least 72 hours. So let me go through some of the contents and I'll kind of give you an idea of where I got them and what the cost of, uh, of each item was. Uh, let me start out with the, uh, the bag itself. This uh, bag I purchased from a military surplus store for $3, but believe it or not, I got two. It was uh, two for three bucks. Um, the rope was uh, 50 cents from also a military supply uh, store, as well as a duct tape that I've had lying around. I've got some webbing on here that I purchased from Ace Hardware, which was uh, 29 cents a, a foot, and the buckles for it were 49 cents for the buckles. You can actually make your own webbing. It's really, really easy, and you can add it to any bag or backpack or any kind of setup that you have. So uh, all together, you figure $1.50, uh, two uh, plus a duct tape I had lying around, and say all together about $4.00. Uh, here's um, bottled water that I've got. This came from a case of bottled water that I purchased at, uh, at Save-A-Lot for $2.39. Uh, since it's for the vehicle, I've only got two bottles, and those bottles fit on uh, inside each one of these pockets. Uh, here I have a, a, I guess you'd say a tool belt or tool apron from Lowe's that I purchased for $1.50. I uh, figured that'd come in handy in the event, um, you know, if uh, you're setting up any gear or you need to place straps or any of your tools while you're working, you can have that stuff quick so you don't have to keep digging inside the bag. Uh, another Ace Hardware item was this fancy L LCD uh, flashlight I got for $0.99. Cents. Um, bought this during the Christmas season, so they had a lot of specials going on, and it was really bright. $0.99, cents, I couldn't beat that. Here's an old candle from... Um, from well scented candle from a while ago no sense in buying another one it smells good keeps the bag smelling good uh it's kind of comforting too in the event that uh, power were to go out uh you'd be able to burn a candle and you'd have a scent something to kind of make you feel a little more homey this is a poncho that i purchased from walmart for a dollar 99. this is from the dollar store it came in a pack of four i, I took out two for my my vehicle uh, bob and then my home bob i, I got the other two in there these are straps that I purchased at the dollar store. It was actually a set of straps. Uh, there's another set that are orange that came with that for a dollar from the dollar store. Each one of these items uh, came from the dollar store. Believe it or not, this one was at, uh, at Largo Mall. This was a dollar. This was a dollar. These were two for a dollar. Uh, again, back to being creative. These crackers here, this came from, uh, from a takeout order, which, uh, which I figured would come in handy later on down the road. They, they, they keep for a while. We have uh, the flavor mixes. I got a box of these for a dollar from the dollar store. This is a Save-A-Lot item. I uh, got a box of those for $1.50. That was from the dollar store. Here I uh, have some coffee filters. I uh, always purchase them because I'm a, I'm a coffee drinker. But I uh, saw a video on YouTube that you can actually filter out some of the big stuff in water with coffee filters. You can also use it as a dust mask in the event of an emergency. So... I've got about five of those wrapped up in some cellophane, and uh, I wrap duct, uh, rather electrical tape around there. So in the event I need any additional tape, I can use that as a resource as well. I've got a silver sharpie that I got from Lowe's. Uh, the reason why I got this is you can actually see it when you're, if you need it, uh, drawing on any dark surfaces, uh, maybe some dark wood, a tree, or anything along those lines to act as a marker. Uh, notepad, got a package of four of those from the dollar store. This here is a uh, hand sanitizer which i purchased from uh, the dollar store it was a two for a uh, two in one pack for a buck which comes in handy this is just toilet paper from a roll of toilet paper that i have and i wrapped it around the end of a a, a ballpoint pen uh, 
toilet paper comes in handy a lot, especially I have uh, I have I have kids. Um, in the event you're ever on the road and say something does come up, this is a good way to go ahead and um, and, and kind of take care of business without messing up uh, anybody's clothes or anything along those lines. Uh, in this tin here is um, some I, I have a nicotine habit. It's snooze, but the tin came in handy. Inside this tin, if I can open that up, I have a dollar uh, keychain light matchsticks a can opener and a striking plate as well as a couple of mints in there um and all of this was the the most expensive thing was the dollar light for the keychain uh just decided to take the tin put the items in there close the tin up takes a little bit of space and it's items that you can use as you can see these are sunny's barbecue wipes um those could also come in handy this came in a set of two at the dollar store this is liquid skin uh, instead of carrying band-aids around it's kind of like a uh, an adhesive to close the wound and stop the bleeding until you're able to get some additional attention again dollar store clippers this is a mechanics towel um there was a set of four and those also from the dollar store figured they'd come in it come in handy uh cleaning up messes maybe stopping any bleeding anything along those lines here is uh, the famous sport from Taco Bell, one of my favorite restaurants to eat at. Have uh, plastic spoons and knives that I've gotten from from previous orders that I've when I've gone out or you know just stopping someplace and they have it. It's a good idea to maybe take some of the, that plastic wear and you could store it away and use it in, in any survival bag that you have. Uh, now for some of the main food. This was a dollar package from the dollar store, uh, the same one in Largo Mall. Uh, I figured for for the price it. Uh, and it keeps until two thousand till well into 2012 i got this probably beginning uh, the middle part of this year uh so that's going to keep for a while another dollar store item uh this was actually i got this from a box of uh hot chocolates i don't remember how much it costs i just figured something nice to have something uh, comforting maybe to uh replace coffee if you're, you're stranded anywhere just uh, sort of a a, a flavored drink something to just kind of spice things up a hot drink to change things up just a little bit uh, over here, this is uh, Brunswick chicken salad and crackers. I'm not sure if you guys have ever had this. This stuff is delicious. I thought it was a steal when I found uh, found this at the dollar store as well. This was also a dollar at the dollar store. These are chicken of the sea uh, tuna sandwich mixes. Uh, of course, you're not going to carry bread with you, but uh, you know, with crackers or even one of the sporks just to have as a snack, that's pretty darn good. And then a boot knife that I have. Uh, this is uh, Southern Patriot from Pinellas uh, Urban Survival. I hope uh, hope you guys found this video helpful and uh, maybe some creative tips that can help you in building your own bug out bag. Have a great one.